my grandma, who's not in the Unification Church, she went to art school as well, and she became a paper maker. My mom grew up with having like a huge, it's called a Hollander beater outside of the kitchen door where my grandma would mix paper pulp and make her own paper art pieces. Like my mom used to talk about sneaking into the freezer to eat ice cream and taking a big bite and realizing that she was eating paper pulp. So paper mache is something that I used a lot when I was a kid. And there was a joke in my house because my parents wouldn't buy us anything because spending money on stuff not church related was seen as like a satanic thing to do. So anytime my little brother or I wanted anything, if we saw a toy in a catalog or whatever, my parents would say, why don't you try and make it out of paper mache? But I'm not only interested in these materials because I used them when I was a kid or because my grandmother showed me how to use them. I'm interested because historically these materials, they're used to teach children how to work with their hands, how to see the world and what their role in this world is. And oftentimes that seems like the first time we're being indoctrinated about what views we should have. I think Those stories end up shaping our identity in ways that we're not even cognizant of.